Hey, hey, hey. It's 2727. Ah, uh, ooh. Pop smoke. Woo! Yeah, it's sounds like pop smoke. A, A, A is 2727. And last time, we ranked top 10 versions of Bonnie. And this time, we're going to be ranking. This is the, the last one of the original four animatronics. Top 10 versions of Foxy. Everybody loves this pirate. This pirate made everyone's life. Especially when they drew Foxy weirdly. Like, that made everybody's lives. Not mine. Because I'm not weird like most of you guys watching this video. Because I know you like Foxy for different reasons. I don't even know if you like Foxy for different reasons. I'm just saying that. But, so we got top 10 versions of Foxy's. Again, there wasn't a lot of Foxy's to rank. Because Freddy has so many different versions of Freddy. And Foxy is not like Freddy. He's not the main character of, of the game. It's not called Five Nights at Foxy's. That actually, sa that actually sounds like a good name for a game. Five Nights at Foxy's. Five Nights at Bonnie's. Five Nights at Cheekers. Not Okay, Scott Cawthon, you need to do that right now. Got to make individual games for each character. That will be sick as. Okay, but that was off topic. So, coming in, number 10, we have Grim Foxy. Now, I ranked him number 10. This is basically, um... This is basically a redesign of Nightmare Foxy, but I don't think it's a redesign of Nightmare Foxy. It, it I think it's got some touches. It's it added some the editors the designers added some touches to it. It's basically a Jacko Lantern version of Foxy, like Jacko Bonnie, Jacko Chica. It's like Jack. It's basically Jacko Foxy, and I've seen games in I think it's FNAF VR he appears where he runs at you through like a maze. That's scary, bro. And it's a fox on fire. That what else are you gonna be scared of? But nothing really to say about Grim Foxy other other than his hook is massive. It's like three inches. Three inches is massive, guys. I'm joking. Six inches is tiny, but Grim Foxy's number ten. Coming in number nine. Oh, I'm itchy, bro. My head's itchy. Coming in number nine, we have Phantom. Foxy. This is basically a reskin of Withered Foxy. It's basically a reskin, but again, he fits the vibe of FNAF 3 perfectly. He's green, decayed, got he's like mossy, he's rusty, and his eyes are glowing like he's a phantom. I think the problem is in um FNAF 3 was how the hell how the fuck do you stop Foxy from appearing? Like, he just appears and you can't do anything about it. Does he just do that? I feel like you've already found the solution, but... Does he just do that because he can? Because, I don't know. But Phantom Foxy, his design's actually pretty sick, but... He is basically a reskin of Withered... Withered, um... Foxy. But... Is jump scare sick? I think he also jumps at you, like Withered Foxy... Also does. And... <laughs> it's... Right. Phantom Foxy is just... He's up there. He's up there. He's not like a, a watermelon like Phantom Chica. He, he is a fox. A dedicated, green, sick fox. Who's not even real. Like the Nightmare Animatronics. So, coming in. Number 8. We have Rockstar Foxy. Rockstar Foxy. Okay, his voice lines are sick. And, bro... Rockstar Foxy needs to pick a side if he wants to be good or evil. Because in Custom Night, he just attacks you if he just doesn't want to give you coins and doesn't want to help you out. I appreciate that he helps you out, but I don't appreciate that he just wants to kill me whenever he feels like it. Because I don't like that. Even though I don't play it, I probably will never play Custom Night unless I'm really bored because that game will be that game's too hard. That game's too hard. Like Rockstar Foxy... It's probably one of the best Rockstar designs, redesigns of the normal animatronics. He's got a parrot on his shoulder, and one of his leg is a actually a peg leg, like a wooden peg leg, like a pirate. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he has a hook anymore. He might have a hook, but he plays the um, the the squeaky piano, the squeaky piano instrument. I don't know what it's called. That. 
that was a shit impression of it, but Rockstar Foxy is more of a pirate than normal Foxy. Put it that. Put it that way. So, coming in, number seven. I might get a lot of hate for this, but it is Funtime Foxy. Funtime Foxy is nothing special or different. He, like his, I didn't know if it was a she or a he. I was sure of it. He, it was a she. I was like, this is what Mangle would look like if she wasn't mangled. And to be honest, I can't picture in my head what Mangle would look like if she was not mangled. I think that looked pretty weird, to be honest. But Funtime Foxy looks nothing like Mangle because I actually look at him now. Not like that. You guys are gay. I shut up. So, Funtime Foxy, it's a he. His voice lines. Bro, his voice line sounds like he's an astronaut. Or sounds like he's got... Yeah, he sounds like he's an astronaut or a news reporter back in, like, 1980s. He sounds like an old man, Funtime Foxy. Like, the people... Henry or William, who designed their voices... Why would you design Funtime Foxy's voice like this? Should have done, like, a... A cute girl's voice. Because that would have been better to attract kids. Like, I know William likes attracting kids... What a weird guy, William. A fun time Foxy is cool. She has a split in the middle. I'm pretty sure she has a split in the middle like all the fun time animatronics. I don't know. I haven't seen her jump scare. His. His jump scare. I haven't seen his jump scare. Because I don't know if his mouth opens up like all the others. But fun time Foxy, number seven. Coming in, number six. Woo, it's Nightmare Mangle. I know. It's a, basically a reskin of Nightmare Foxy. And, apparent, and I know she's not canon in the lore. But technically, none of the nightmares are basically canon because they're all just in the little kid's head. So, sucks to be you. Nightmare Mangle is fucking scary. Nightmare Mangle, bro. I, I thought Nightmare Foxy... I would rank Nightmare Mangle higher than Nightmare Foxy if she wasn't a reskin. And I think I just like Foxy better than Mangle in general. But Nightmare Foxy. I mean Mangle. Fuck, I keep getting them wrong. She is one of the scariest characters in the world. I does I don't know if she hangs from the ceiling in FNAF 4. But I can imagine it. And bro, that would be scary as shit. Because I think, bro, Nightmare Mangle should be canon because... He's the, the kid's sister in FNAF 4... Has a mangled plushie. Has a mangled toy. That's got a Snapchat notification. Has a mangled toy. And he will get nightmares from that. I assume it would be canon. Like the puppet. Nightmare puppet. Whatever his name is. But Nightmare Mangle. Scary. Scary as fuck. And I think. You know the pink. Like she's white and pink. It looks like she's got blood all over her face. Like blood stains from... I don't know. The Bite of 87? She didn't do it. I don't know who did it. I really don't know who did it. So, coming in, number five, we have... Okay, so all the weirdos love this character all of a sudden. We have Roxy. Roxy... Uh, up. Roxy's only fans? <laughs> Gregory, you need to get Roxy's passwords for her only fans. I, you need it. No, but, okay, a lot of videos about Roxy, I've clicked on them, and it's so, it's clickbait, it's a lot of clickbait, I'm not weird, it's clickbait, and her design, her voice, her design, let's go for her design first, her design's really good, she's got hair like a wolf, I think it's the first ever wolf animatronic we've ever seen, besides from the twisted ones, the wolf guy, he looks sick as, I'm gonna be ranking them, but her design is sick, she's basically, glam rock she's got the guitar she's bright she's like pinkish purple with um you know i forget her design but she's wearing some neon clothes i swear and when she's broken and missing her eyes that is the scariest thing i swear she's got issues because she keeps on saying i'm beautiful i'm not beautiful i'm still beautiful i'm not beautiful like she's she's got some issues but the way bro the way there's like ink black on her face when her eyes get ripped out that looks like blood oh that just looks scary bro and her voice lines the, her voice lines are really good i love her voice lines and i know you guys like her voice lines for other things so. you weirdos her hair I, I like her hair her hair is really good and she she has a tail 
I don't think any of the other Foxy designs actually had a tail. When you think about it, it's kind of weird that none of the Foxy designs had a tail. They might have had a tail, I don't know. I just didn't see the tail. But her, her tail is really good. I, her, I can't get over her hair. It's just perfect. I love her hair. I love her hair. I love her. Her hair. I need to say it. Coming in number three. No, number four. We have Mangle. Mangle. Ooh, I reckon this was the first animatronic to give kids nightmares. Because, bro, I remember <clears throat> when people saw Mangle, like, lying on the floor in FNAF 2. They were like, this is just a decoration. But, bro, when she crawls up on the ceiling like a spider... And she's right next to your face. Wait, what do you actually do? Like, when she's actually in the office and on the ceiling, what do you do to get rid of her? And what is she doing up there? Because I have no idea how to get rid of her. It, I don't play it, though. I just want to know how to get rid of her because she just seems to jump scare you or go away. And I just want to know how to get rid of her. But her design's really good. She's basically a bunch of endoskeletons put together. I don't even know how she still works. I know she's got a soul. Okay, that's basically how she still works. But she's got two heads. How how would that work? If you're a soul trapped in Mangle. And you're controlling two heads. Oh, I'm guessing they're both eyes for it. You know, because they both have one eye each. But her design's just really good. And I love Nightmare Mangle. She's just... Round of applause to Scott Cawthon for designing Mangle. Who would have thought of making... A broken version of Foxy. I mean, Foxy's already broken, but a more broken version of Foxy? Round of applause. And, bro, round of applause, round of applause. This one, this is a sick one. Uh, wait, but I want to ask a question. Why would you let kids play with an animatronic to to destroy her? That That's dangerous. And... The kids must be pretty strong to destroy and rip apart Mangle. But, like, why didn't they rip apart any of the other ones? Like, Mangle must have been the, like, Lefty, like, five bucks. I can't believe Lefty was five bucks. That shit doesn't make sense. So, coming in, number three, we have Nightmare Foxy. Oh, Nightmare Foxy. Oh, the mechanics in FNAF 4 are so good. Bro, I've got lost saliva. But when he goes... Uh, why does he go into the closet first anyway? He doesn't attack you. He's like chilling in the closet being a weirdo. But when you see the closet moving, you're like, fuck, I just let Foxy in. Shit. I have to worry about another thing now. And, bro, when... Bro. <laughs> bro! <laughs> Nightmare Foxy's design is just scary. Like, his jaw... They really leveled up with Nightmare Foxy because his snout is just so big. It looks like, bro, his head is bigger than his whole body. I I don't know how he moves without his head slouching down. Because his body's skinny and his head is just massive. Like, fuck, I swear to God. And his hook. Oh, they brought the hook back. And, bro, his legs are just silver and, you know, decayed like always. Nightmare Foxy and apparently... He had a tongue, like, bro, I saw his tongue in the posters. It looks fucking fire. He looks like Venom, but they got rid of it in the game. I don't know if it would look better. I think it would have looked better in the game. I wish, I really wish they brought his tongue back. I don't know why, but the, that extra detail would have been so good. And his eyes glow orange. And the way his head pops out like a, like a shark in the closet when he tries to scare you. That, he's like, rah. Fuck, I should have done that. that. That sounds so weird. But Nightmare Foxy's design is probably one of the best Nightmare designs out there. I love it. I love it. Coming in, number two, we have Withered Foxy. Like I said in the Bonnie video, I like... I think there's something about the Withered's that I like better than the Nightmares. Probably, like I said in the other video, they're more OG and they, they give me like... FNAF 2 is like really where... I was watching FNAF stuff. FNAF 2 was just the sickest thing in the world. And with a Foxy's design, I don't even know what they did with it. Because he he looks like a fox. But I don't know if he looks more like a fox. And no, he gets scared by a flashlight. What a 
pussy. The only animatronic to get scared by a flashlight. But at least he's not as dumb as Freddy and gets fooled by a Freddy mask. That, that, and when the, when Balloon Boy takes your batteries and you can't do anything about Foxy, you're dead. And his jump scare. He literally leaps up and jumps you. Like, bro. And in the, bro, I've seen, um, and, uh, I've seen, um, like, people have made photos of what Foxy's area would have looked like in parts and service. I like how he has his own, like, you can't see him in the cameras. Like, like you couldn't in FNAF 1. That was sick as. And his design, that, like, his snout's more triangle. And, like, I guess his, um, design's more old-fashioned than his FNAF 1 design. Since it was a prequel from FNAF 1. But, when he's in the hallway... And I didn't realise that the hallway in FNAF 2 was fucking huge. Like, it doesn't look huge. But, in he has glowing eyes. And when he looks at you, and you're like... You know, I'm gonna flash this light at you. But, please, please fucking go away. Like, bro. Uh, with a Foxy... I would've ranked him... Above Foxy, but... You know. You gotta... So, coming in, number one. It is Foxy. Foxy. I think... No, okay. I think Foxy... This is FNAF 1 Foxy, by the way. Foxy is the only animatronic with a jump scare that isn't at your face. Like, think about it. Foxy just runs up. Bro, okay, when Foxy runs, when you see Foxy, like, out of Pirate's Cove, he's like, his face, his head and arms are all over the place. He says, like, Point out to the ceiling. It's just so scary. And when you hear those footsteps, you're like, what the fuck, what the fuck? All the adrenaline pumping in your heart. I know you guys know this, but holy shit, that is the scariest thing. And his jump scares not even to your face. And it still scares you like shit. <coughs> like, that is like... FNAF 1 had... FNAF 1, Foxy's mechanic was really good. Because you had two animatronics doing normal things. Doing the normal routine. He had Freddy doing whatever he wanted, going in whatever side door he wanted. You had Golden Freddy just, you know, popping up randomly. Then you had Foxy, who had this one mechanic where you had to stop him at one point, and he couldn't do anything else. That was the best thing. And he looks more like a fox than any of the other ones, to be honest. Like He's got, like, whiskers, like, pointy whiskers. And, bro, I didn't know this until now, but when you... When you look, when you look at Pirates Cove on the cams, you can hear Foxy saying "da da dum 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 dum." Like I, I didn't even know that was Foxy. I thought that was, I thought that was Freddy. But Freddy does the hoo hoo laugh. But Foxy, Foxy's just, bro, he's just chilling in Pirates Cove, and he's just singing, and he's just like, "Oh, when should I run and kill you?" But basically, Foxy's number one because he's best OG. So that was. Top 10 versions of Foxy. That was my second video for the day. I'm doing three more. Let me know what else you want. Snapchat notification. Brrr.